to mess up on and to see variation. Mm -hmm. Now, it's yeah. not the worst of the Kashgora, <laughs> what I want to assure you. And so I'm saying, depending on the flock, it it's, can all be running. You'd like to think that our standards are pure. If we had our lab tests on every fleece, well, we could tell. But the lab test on this fleece is going to get you different answers. So just look right here. We'll pass this around. This is supposedly from the same fleece. I got that out of there. See, this one I wouldn't call Kashgora, but this one over here is a little, a little coarser. Uh, but this is in the three-inch length. We definitely got more luster. It, it has a different feel to it. Mm -hmm. it it's softer than I thought it would be. What's that? It's got great yeah. guard hair. Yeah. Three inch luster fine cash gora, 17.5. Well, Good no, style. no, the, the, the yeah. finer it's part of it's 17.5. Okay. But it, it's the, the coarsest part is. As I would say, it would be closer to the 19 micron than what we're thinking of is 20 micron a lot of times for cash gore. So would you, she classed it as cash gore, would yeah. you class it as cash gore? Yeah, o overall I would. Overall. If, if this is the type of gold, and that's what Diane wanted us to, to see, is get it out of your herd. Uh, there's no sense in feeding a, a meat goat on a cashmere ranch. So, this is the kind that needs to go. The last thing you would want to do is to sell it to a new cashmere breeder. That's the worst thing you can do. When we say call 25 to 33% of your flock every year, that depends on how far along you are in your process, that means to market. That doesn't mean sell to another breeder, especially a new breeder that hadn't had the experience. No. That's what your daddy would say. So, uh, the comment I would make here, sell <laughs> or okay. meat. There is some cashmere. But what I want you to remember, some people say, well, I'll just put this dough with my real fine buck. Mm -hmm. You very seldom make progress breeding extremes to extremes. Genetics takes at least two generations mm -hmm. to really see a difference overall in your herd. We don't share any of the cone fleeces in the same class as the shorn fleeces. Okay. Yeah. But I want you to get used to looking at the fiber on the goat. That's where you need to be making decisions. But now let's just look right here. What's our first impression? What well, two things? Fluffy and short. Okay. That's guard hair. Sure. That's a lot of guard hair. Yeah, a lot of guard hair. And it's not large, is it? No, it's it's not really a thick guard hair, is it, <laughs> Diane? No, it isn't. All right. And in the cone fleeces, unless you put the, the coarse neck over here and, and le just leave the bridge alone, I would encourage you just, if it's a short bridge, just leave it, leave it alone. But, but at least get it separate. And, and, and we'd like to know the weight on these, like in a contest, we, we will. Yeah, they're on weight. Have the weight. And so this is a respectable mass of volume that's one thing you want to look at is, is just the, the volume of what you have there but what's just, your average off of each animal do you figure six ounces it, it depends on the flock two to four ounces is more of an average when people first start out i, I try to really emphasize two to four ounces because they get their hopes up so high mm. uh, but that's clean to hear cashmere like four to six ounces of clean to hear uh, yeah cashmere. actual actual okay. cashmere. all right so I just remember being in Australia, and it, I still remember that 17, 17 and a half micron made the most money. And 
Does anybody here know what this is? Is this a 13, 12, or 14 micron? <laughs> but it, it's fine, really. It's 14 it, it's, and a half. What? It's 14 and a half. Okay. But you lay this down like this, and all we can say is, is this is fine, very fine. It has great style, and, and it's going to meet the length deal. Okay, now um, we're going to have and you think crew. out loud. When you said it has great style, explain why. Okay, but yeah, that's, that's a fair question. I'm going to draw that little picture here. I used to make di get different diameter pencils and, mm -hmm. and try to show just a contrast, not the actual micron. But on the style, we want it to be, in other words, they're really close together. Okay. Just say that's a, an inch there, and that's about nine, nine of them. And you have to separate it out some, because you'll see some that are um, being redundant here that are just like that. Now, if, if their whole fleece is that away, it's probably going to get worse. Like if you have a cash gore fleece as a kid, and it gets under the line at 18 microns, 17 and a half, and shares a lot, and wins the kid contest because it got in the cashmere range. They really seem like those coarse ones get coarser, but these fine ones stay fine. Okay. Okay. Then, but here's the. This would be one, and then this would be two, and this is arbitrary, and this would be a four. And then just the straight line would kind of like mohair would be <laughs> be five, but it's when you start comparing other ones. And, and and don't hesitate to use a magnifying glass. But can you see see what we're talking about there? You don't see any occasional larger fiber that's straight, the tertiary fiber that we were talking about. See, this is just going to be wonderful. Now, Marilyn, you, do you really like to work with this fine of cashmere? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll spin anything that you show that. Yeah, she said she would put this one in her bag mm -hmm. when we were working. It's oh already in her bag. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be in the silent auction. All right. So no, I, I, I'm going to say this, please, and, and you won't embarrass me. Uh, I don't know. Would, I would, yield, you. would yield just 65 to 68 percent because it, it has mm -hmm. more cashmere than more guard hair than the other one. It has more trash in it, mm -hmm. and it doesn't look quite as pure to me. Now this may be even finer than the one we had a while ago. But what I want you to get the look feel of, it doesn't matter if this one's a half a micron finer than, than that one over there. These are fine fleeces. And Diane brought up a good point this morning. You don't want to be mixing the, the 15 and below finer, 15 and a half, with your 17 or your close to cash gore. Like they just don't the handle the same. What's making those round out like that? It's the it's comb. Just with the comb. Yeah, if you look here, it's um, somewhere where it was really right good. That used Vision to worry me. You can see how the, the break of the comb went through the. And that's just peeled off the comb. But yeah, this is getting just off. real close yeah, to being too sharp. And at the co-op, we really worked hard not to not to fault somebody. Good for you. Not to send something back. You see, they they won't all be that long. But see, this will get by. This will get by. But that small guard hair that when Terry was over here, and man, without Terry, we wouldn't know anything. But we did, it wasn't emphasized the size of the guard hair then. Even when Mr. Hopkins from the actual professionals at Rhode Island, he, he did not emphasize that to us. 
But I wonder how much this weighs, Helene. Uh, it's yeah. 1.65. 1. 1. 1. 1. Yeah, I was going to say, they just, see, this is really fine, but there's not much there. Mm -hmm. There's more volume than weight. That's right. Yeah. And so ahead. is that the crimp? Ahead. This differentiation, what are you, what are you talking that, about? That, that's the uh, differentiation would be the guard hair. Crimp in style, what are we going to call it? We're going to call it excellent to good. I mean, nobody's going to get on mm -hmm. you for, you know, don't get hung up on is it a 95 or an 89, you know. <laughs> it's just, it's, all right, the uniformity of the crimp. And what I do when you like when we have 40 fleeces tomorrow, that, that's not a big contest, but it's a big enough. You you can't dilly dally, but I try to get three or four samples when they're in that bag, different parts of the of the bag, and some of that's the luck of the draw. And so, the uniformity of crimp, what we've seen here, is is good. What would bump it into the excellent category, just for the heck of it? I'm just being contrary and not, okay. not giving many excellent. Okay, that's <laughs> that's and, and, the answer I'm looking for. And, that's you know, exactly the judge, what I'm the judge himself leaves himself room, room, and that's what yeah. I'm looking for. That's yeah, the that's answer right. I wanted to hear. That's right. And so, the differentiation. Uh oh, now we're going to ride down here. I'll put on this one, average minus. In other words, when you get down in those. When you get down here, and the way I do it is, on average and poor, I'll have, may have a plus or plus or a minus, because this is the most important thing, the deficiencies. This is, and, uh, so, but you just keep looking, like that one over, over there a while ago, we criticized for being a little weathered on the end. It had a great staple length. Did anybody weigh that one over there, Miss Craft? Which one? Yeah. Yes. The brown one. What, what did it? What's the weight on that uh, fleece over there? Yeah. Well, it's the same as the other one. It's uh, two point two ounces. See, and and that's money. Time you you know spend money on the processing. Mm -hmm. And thank heaven, Helene asked Diane to come here. I mean, I said, if there's some processor around, because you guys that knit and process know more than us, than we classifiers and, and produce. The judge will do a better job, and the contestants will be happy if you know that several fleeces from the neck, the side, and the bridge are side by side. If you just go down looking at them and then go to the next goes and then it's hard for everybody to remember three samples from several goats or fleeces. It's, it's, it's below average on the on the diameter of the guard hair. So the, this the means guard hair. Yes, that, okay, that'd, that'd be the guard hair. Okay. Yeah, that's differentiation between the guard hair and, and the, the cashmere. cashmere. Mm -hmm. you, you want to see a bigger contrast, I guess, and that's well, specifically for the milling purposes. Yeah, 15 micron or 13 micron. I want you to feel comfortable and, and really just looking at the guard hair by itself. It doesn't matter if this is 15 micron and this same guard hair is on 20 micron, it's still too small. You know what I mean. All right, then the fiber length. Quar inch and a quarter is what Camel and Cashmere Institute decides, is yeah. it not? We, like we, we try to look at it on the goat, if it's an inch and a half, that's when you can start harvesting it, because you're shooting at that inch and a quarter. If it's been really combed out proper, we have stretched it maybe some, but we would take an inch, a good, good long inch. Because we see a lot of comb hair that's half inch, three quarters inch, eight, eight tenths. And uniformity is a very important trait to look at. And once you get it combed and thrown in the same bag, it's really difficult on cashmere to to. Uh, it's easy to miss some uniform, uh, some sharp mixed in with the long. 
So it, it's just a, a mix of the deal. And that's why I would encourage you to look at that live goat before you go to work. And, and, and literally, unless you've got good staple length on the bridge, just leave it, leave it alone. But if you're sorting hair commercially or at your place, you can't look at every little lock. You got to just look at different parts of this. What I would rate this that we've done here today on this fleece is that it's good, good minus in the uniformity of the staple length. Your dark backgrounds over there. Well, I can still see those fibers. So, so I'm going to give it good on the uniformity and the micron. I, I'm going to call it super fine. The uniformity of micron. I would say it would be good or to excellent. And the yield weight is, uh, I, I would say this on the comb, combed would be good minus. Now I'm not going on the, on the ounces here, I'm, I'm going on just the percentage of, of yield. Mm -hmm. And then when I'm coming down to my final conclusion, well, I, I I really like the weight of what we have here separate. In other words, you can have a high yield in two ounces, and then you can have a high yield in four ounces. And I don't think you should, in other words, the percentage of guard hair and trash, I'm talking about the percentage of actual cashmere there of what was presented. That's what I call yield. And then I still like to have a weight so I, in my, arbitrarily in my mind, I can multiply 20% uh, or 25% against the total weight of the fleece. Let's look at this fleece. And we need the feel of it again. To me, it doesn't have the quite the bounce. It would just be average on the on the handle. Which card is it? This one right here. Yeah. <laughs> this one's got two more card hairs on it. Yeah. 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 On the on the crimp. Uh, I would call it good. It's not excellent, but it's, it's still very satisfying. Uniformity of crimp is good. Differentiation, uh, I would say this is good. Uh, guard hair diameter, I mean. Okay. Two small ones. Now on this one, we're going to come to the Fiber link. What's the micron on that one? No, this one has the average is fourteen. With the three standard deviations. What's the highest? How high up does it go? It's only three standard deviations, so about seven. Mm. I'll take it. There's but like I said, it's it was not last year's fleece. Yeah, it's not yeah. the histogram on this particular yeah. fleece. Yeah. 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 Not this fleece. Not I'll, this fleece. How old was it when this fleece came off? Five. This fleece, yes, is uh, this year's. Luster, uh, we, we could say that it's uh, low, because that's desirable. In the micron, uh, what, what I wanted to say was somewhere between 16 and 17. Uniformity of micron, I would say it's good. And the, the yield, since this is a comb, comb fleece, uh, I, I would say it's about 55 to 60 percent. 
Good. It's going to be a high yield on it because of the coarseness. Of the, of the guard hair? And, and because of the, the, the micron fiber, fiber too. Yeah, okay. Well, my comments I'm writing down. Watch closely for staple length. Most of the style is good for a five year old. But anytime you got a five year old that'll that carry that kind of style, well, that's what we're shooting for. What I'm hoping is that you will go home, make that chart, that good, that excellent good average pour, and list those 10 or 15 traits. And I guarantee you, especially when you, you have children there with you, or even get the dairy farmer next door or the, or the shell station operator, but don't get the same county agent out there. After two or three years, we all get in a rut. It's good to bring somebody else in to help you do that evaluation. We all are human, and unless you make yourself look at those 10 to 20 different items, body and fiber, I guarantee you, you're going to just end up looking at two or three things, and the other is just you're oblivious to, and, and, and you, you're going backwards. But I am surprised at the fineness of all it's these changed. pieces. <laughs> yeah, there isn't a coarse one in this whole one. Yeah. It's like... But just pause here for 20 seconds, don't say anything, but what jumps out at you? Say two things, good or bad. The guard hair content. Okay, and and not just the content, because this is a cone fleece, but the diameter of the guard hair. It's pretty good. It's good. But it's uh, careful too, Actually, it's, it's a different um, color, so the contrast different is color. gonna make Even it. within the same hair, it's thick there and thin there. Mm -hmm. it's two mm -hmm. different colors. Mm -hmm. But it's, 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 I think we're all focused on the guard hair, but it really doesn't have the wide, thick diameter. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be harder for Ms. Blair to be hair. Right or no? She's giving <laughs> it serious.